What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Louie's Coach Review, back again with another review, and today we're here to do the final review on the RDTA box released by iJoy. Now, I know iJoy was in cahoots with Vaping with Twisted 420 when he came out with this box mod, and what this box mod is, it's a built-in RDTA inside of a box. It holds 12.8 milliliters of e-liquid. Okay, now when I got this device, I did a sneak peek release video on Saturday, this past Saturday, okay, and I got it, and I was like, all right, another device from China, because when I see DHL packages, I know they come from China, so I opened it up, I'm like, all right, what is this, I'm like, oh, this is that device Twisted 420 was talking about, great, this is awesome, so I wanted to try it out, I got all excited, opened it up like a kid on Christmas, you know, um, read, you know, didn't even read the instructions, just basically opened it up, looked at it vaped it and fell in love with it now i have a preference with this device okay but before i get into all that i just wanted to mention that if anyone is interested in picking up this device or has been thinking about it even after watching this review if you're trying to decide to pick it up let me answer the question for you pick it up the reason why i say that is because i've opened this device on saturday and i'm a guy who uses mechanical tube mods on a regular, everyday basis. I don't carry just one around with me. I literally carry around four to five mechanical tube mods, where four to five different RDAs, maybe one regulated device with a tank that I leave in the car, so when I'm driving, I could just vape without having to drip. But I'm out hanging out, I got five fresh batteries and five mechanical tube mods with five super sub-ohm builds in different styles. And maybe a flavor chasing RDA in there as well, okay? That's what I do on a normal, regular, everyday basis. Now, since I got this on Saturday, I have not picked up any of my mechanical tube mods. I've even traded a mechanical tube mod last night. I traded one of my mechanical tube mods with an RDA for a conserve mod by the League of Scoundrels, okay? It's the brass conserve mod. I got it last night. I put a build on it. I vaped it for a second. I put it down. I didn't touch it since, okay? This has not left my hands except for that one brief moment, but I have been religiously using this device, okay? Now, the other thing that I have to express the urgency on is that this device, at a limited time only, it, they're offering it at $40 off with my coupon code down below. Other people have this same promotion on their page and so forth, okay? So they're going to have coupon codes as well, and you'll save $40 with their coupon codes. That's fine. Use anybody's coupon code you want. You don't have to use mine. I just hope that my subscribers that are interested in picking this up will use the coupon code just so they know it's like a gift from me to you. Hey, you know, Big Lou gave us a coupon code. That's pretty much it, you know. Uh, you can use mine, Twisted, Mike Vapes, uh, Mike Fag... Uh, you can use Fagans or, you know, Vape Chronicles or DJ LSLVAB. I don't know. Use his. I always fuck up his name, and I know he watches, and I apologize I fucked up your name, dude. It's just DJ VS Labs or some shit like that. I always fuck it up. I can never remember your name, dude. It kills me. But I watch your videos, so don't, you know, don't think I'm abusing you, all right? So anyway... Um, yeah, so anybody out there that wants to use the coupon code, note that it's for a limited time only. This device is actually going to jump back up to the suggested retail price as soon as they offer it to shops and stores across America, okay? Now, currently it's available online. It was available for pre-order, but you can go to Heaven's Gifts. Uh, I think it's Heaven's Gifts or Heaven Gifts. Dot com. I'll have the link in the description along with the coupon code to use as well. Okay. Just want to let you know it's for a limited time only. So if by the time you decide you're going to pick it up, that coupon code may expire and then you have to pay the $40 extra, which sucks. Then at that point, is it worth spending $70, $80 on this device? And my word to you is yes, it's worth every penny. Okay, and not to worry if it gets to that point where you can't use the coupon code and blah blah blah. I still have a 15% off coupon with that company, so just let me know, reach out to me, and I'll give you the coupon code for 15% off, which still isn't bad. Okay, so that's good to know. So if it's 70 bucks or 80 bucks, whatever the case is, you'll get 15% off, still not bad for you. Okay, but I can't stress enough if you're interested in picking it up, I suggest highly suggest you get this device. 
because I fucking love this device, okay? Now, for the last three or four days, I've been vaping on coffee-flavored e-liquids. Why? Because that's what I use when I flavor chase, okay? Initially, I started off with Frappe. I got another bottle of Frappe, and look what I did. I fucking murdered the bottle, okay? Then I switched over to Positive Mental Attitude by Duvo Life. This is another great espresso and cream coffee-flavored e-liquid. You will love this flavor. It's decadent. It's delicious. My only problem is, is that I got it in a 30 mil. I wish I got it in a 60 mil. If they're making 60s, I suggest duvo.life.com. Definitely check them out. Life is spelled L-I-F-E, not L-Y. Okay, so duvo.life.com. Check them out. Amazing flavor. And then just as of last night, I switched over to Mike Vapes Glory Hole. This is Glory Hole. It's his uh, coffee with the strawberry frosted donut. Incredible flavor. And this, this e-liquid, I love coffee vapes. And he hit the nail on the head. You know, he's a Greek guy. And, uh, you know, Greeks love their coffee as well. Um, I'm not a Greek guy. I'm an Italian guy. But I love coffee as well, too. I drink espresso and all sorts of fucking cappuccinos and shit like that, you know. My girl loves fucking Starbucks. I don't even like Starbucks. She loves Starbucks. But, you know, I like nice, bold espresso coffee flavors. Mike, you did a killer fucking job in this e-liquid. The glory hole is fucking delicious. Uh, I don't even get that much strawberry frosted donut in it. But you know what? It's okay. Because the type of coffee that's being used in this e-liquid is amazing on a flavor chase. And I got it in this fucking device right now. And I love it. Okay? Absolutely love it. Can't stop vaping it. It's just... It's just a flawless vape. You did a fucking amazing job. Now, in this video, I switch over to the new device with this liquid. This is Mania. It's a cinnamon sugar cookie. It's released by Ronin and Vape Models. It's incredible, delicious cinnamon sugar cookie. I love cinnamon sugar cookies or snickerdoodles. That's an awesome e-liquid. If you can find it, I highly suggest you pick it up and buy it. Um, but let's open up this box. Let's check out the new device and the whole nine yards and everything. And we'll go from there. All right, and that's all I can say. So uh, let's let's do this. Let's do this, Brutus. We got the contents of our box, basically. Uh, you know, it says iJoy, uh, who they support, basically. CV USA, Pride member of CV USA Advocacy Group. Uh, on this side, it will tell you just specifics and warnings: 200 watt, temperature control, upgrade available. Uh, Olea, uh, OLED screen and it holds 12.8 mils of juice. You can go to ijoysig.com to their website. Nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top, and yada yada. It's got this uh, cigarette pack styled opening shit on here. So let's open up the plastic. Okay. box and we've got a teal colored box it's not a tiffany green or anything like that this is exactly how it looks when you open it just remove the device put it on the side see what else is in here okay now to give you a pre-built rda basically uh three spaced coils with a ceramic uh inside piece you know, ceramic's good for flavor. Uh, Pre-wicked, so all you gotta do is just basically pop and play, basically screw this into place, and you got your pre-built RDA. Uh, comes with a cap. This cap is meant if you're gonna be traveling with your device, you don't want juice leaking everywhere. Just put this cap over your RDA, you won't have any leaking. This is just to secure the fact that you don't want any leaking to happen, basically. They also give you this little silicone cap, and I'll show you what this is used for in a little bit, okay? Micro USB cable. Instruction manual booklet, okay, to give you a big ass booklet and warranty information. Aside from that, they also give you the O rings and coils and cotton and extra screws as well. So that's nice, you have pre built coils in there, and these look like they're fused 
uh, just fuse Clapton coils. That's all. It's a two wire fuse Clapton coil. And a little mini screwdriver. So this is our device basically. This is what it looks like. Uh, we got the black and teal color combination here. It says RDTA on there. I guess that's a uh, I don't know, it seems like maybe that's just silk screened on there, or maybe it's just anodized with the coating that's on here. Uh, real solid construction. Very, very strong, very well built. Uh, nice clicky button, super clicky button. Uh, up, down buttons, and a nice big vertical display. Not a whole lot of technical info, simply just your ohms, your voltage, and your wattage, and so forth, and temp controls, and so forth. Uh, you have an arrow here displaying downward i guess they're just trying to remind you that the batteries go in series here and uh, you can visually see the color of the label or the battery wrap on your battery you have right here this portion right here there's a glass window behind these three lines that when you fire your device you go click the button it will actually show you the juice level where your juice is at and that's been very very helpful uh, inside you have a glass tank on the inside which covers the whole top of the unit uh, you have a atomizer here this is not actually the atomizer this is really just the 510 connection right here just to just focus so you can see that now you can see that is a 510 connection right there it has a uh, pin in the center it looks like a brass pin um, whether or not it's spring-loaded or not I don't know don't really care um, in this application, it just it's made to fit exactly the way it's supposed to fit. Now, when you decide, let's say, you're going to wash the juice out of your tank, basically. That is actually pretty interesting. When it comes down to washing this tank out, it's very simple. It's actually, they made it as easy as possible and as safe as possible. You take your little included silicone cap, place it directly on your five tank connection, and get it to fit in there perfectly. So give it a little smudge, like just push it in there. And then this way you could lock in and protect the five tank connection. If we look down in our tank, this one is dry, free of juice, because it's a brand new unit. But if you like, you could just simply take something that holds water, fill it up, and then obviously, you know, cover it with your finger, shake it up, or you could use the actual cap that comes with the device and, you know, screw it on and then sit there and shake this out basically so let's see screw this on and it's not completely airtight this thing but it does the job just shake it up you know remove the cap and then you could pour your water out basically you could remove this cap or that cap whichever you like you're going to be using a motion of pouring it out so you're not going to get any in your 510 connection if you do happen to get some water in there big deal it's not a big deal i mean these things were made to have e-liquid or juice somehow make their way in there and prevent it from having any issues so just pour out your liquid boom and that's it so that's gone all right i've actually ran water in here from my faucet i had this cap on here like so and I basically just stuck this portion underneath my faucet, ran water, had water cascade down the screen and everything. It didn't seem to affect the screen or anything like that. There was no short circuits. Uh, I didn't have the batteries in it and I wasn't firing it while it was underwater. You know, obviously play it smart, don't play it stupid, do the right thing. 12.8 um, mils of juice goes in this container and let me tell you, it does go a long way. You can vape long periods of time without having to refill which is nice okay now as far as the case itself you want to install the batteries simply just pull it's got a prong here and there's a prong right here which hold the battery lid on the battery lid is constructed of a good metal i'm not sure if it's zinc or stainless but it is very strong and does handle abuse i've dropped mine about twice already on my other device and it was able to withstand the abuse. Now, as far as uh, placing batteries in here, I'll grab two batteries. And uh, it tells you, you know, minus and plus, plus and minus and so forth, where to put your batteries. So when you go to put your batteries in here, note that the buttons on the bottom are spring-loaded, so you'd have to push down on the bottom first to get your battery to go in, okay? 
This says positive down, so I'm gonna put my positive down, push, and get it in there. Once they're in there, you can take your cover and slide it on, and that's it. Your device will then have power. Now, if you look at the screen itself, you have wattage, voltage, ohms, and then there's something else that says PU in the bottom. I have no idea what the hell that means. So let's just scroll through the wattages. Now, if you push and hold either the plus or minus button, you'll see it will scroll. And then once you're in the hundreds, once you go over a hundred, by holding down the button, it will jump in increments of 10. So if we go over 100, you can see it jump, jumps by 10 watts. And that's pretty cool, I like that, okay? We're on normal mode, okay? You can see under where it says 200, it does say we are on normal mode. So three clicks gets you into menu mode. You have power mode, stainless steel, titanium, nickel, and then you have a screen flip as well. So you can flip the screen and this right here, if you click this, brings you into your modes also. So you can go normal, user settings, soft, hard, normal. I like to go to hard, so let's go to hard, all right? And press the enter button, which is the fire button. Uh, if you go three clicks again, okay. I uh, like to go there and go to power mode because I'm using power mode. I'm using wattage. Now, if I'm using stainless steel wire, I could just bring it over to stainless steel and just vape on stainless steel in temp control. So right there is your temp control. Obviously, you can control the wattage. You know, you can control your wattage. Once you're entering your wattage, that's great. Now, the up button will control wattage. Down button, if you press and hold the down button, it'll control the Fahrenheit or Celsius. So if you use up button, you push and hold, you can change your wattage. Use the enter button to enter it, right? Then the down button, if you push just the down button and hold it, you can change the degree of temperature in temp control mode. So right now I'm in stainless steel, temp mode so it does do stainless steel temperature control mode which i know mike vapes is going to love that because i know mike vapes loves vaping temp control with stainless steel wire so we can enter that now you're going to do three fast clicks again to go back into menu mode so one two wait um i really suck at doing this on camera there we go i'm going to take it out of stainless steel mode and go to power mode because i prefer to vape and wattage Okay, and I don't think I'm going to be vaping at 200 watts, so let's take that down. Now you could do 0 0.1 uh, one watt increments by tapping it, So, or you could push and hold and jump by 10. See that? So when you're over 100, it jumps by 10 watts. Okay, so I'm going to push and hold and go down to 130. There we go. I'm at 130 watts. That's where I want to be, basically. Now we have this atomizer here, which is the pre-installed coils. Looks like they're using possibly uh, 24 gauge wire, spaced, wrapped six times all around. Not really sure what the ohms on this one comes out to, but this is their pre-install with their pre-wicks. If you don't have the patience or the time or energy to do a build on the RDA that they give you, they have this pre-built one. Obviously the gold post on the bottom, the gold pin is your positive. And then we have this male threading right here at the 510 connection, which will thread into our 510 connect right here. So just simply just screw this on and you're good to go. Once your RDA is screwed on, you're gonna need something to tuck your cotton in there. So grab either a pair of tweezers or a metal rod to help tuck your cotton in below this pre-built RDA deck. Now, if we look at the bottom of the pre-built pre deck, there is threads at the bottom of this pre-built deck. You will basically need to thread on your female RDA 
base basically which is this brass base which you just basically thread on now you have airflow here you have airflow here and you have airflow here you have three spots of airflow on here so when you put your building deck on here you have to match it up with the airflow slots and they have to be across from one another so I think I see mine here so there we go have an air hole there have one here and one here a little difficult to see but my air holes line up so I have one there and on the opposite side I have one there now I don't use these RDAs I don't actually like them very much I don't like this three coil design much less what it ohms out at and it says here it ohms out at 0.15 ohms, uh, but I'm not too keen on this build, so I'm going to put my own build in here, basically. It says 0.15, vape for anywhere from 50 to 100 watts. That's the pre-built coil. Now, like I said, you could use this. Grim Green, he's used his on his previous uh, iJoy uh, limitless tanks and so forth, and he liked this coil. I'm just not a fan of it myself, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using a pre-built coil. Uh, we're going to be using... So what we're going to do is we're going to put our own build on here, basically. All right. So we have the male portion of our 510 connection. and thread it onto the female portion of this device. Thread it on until it can't move anymore, basically. On this, we have a two-post velocity style type of deck. It works just like other iJoy devices. It has the threading on the base. On this device, you could buy about 10 or 12 different decks. You have postless decks. You have uh, goon-style decks. You have Armageddon-style decks. You have all sorts of decks that you could thread into here to use, basically. This comes with this velocity style deck uh, just for ease and comfort for people to start using. Uh, also, it doesn't come with grub screws. It comes with Phillips head screws in the posts. So you can really wrench down any screws, but be careful to not over tighten because then you will strip the screws. You don't want to strip these screws in there. You will never get them out. Now, just another little piece of information. The airflow control comes in three pieces. I don't know why they do this, but they do it, okay? Um, so, you have your inner airflow control valve, basically. And you have your top cap. This is a top cap for your airflow control, which is threaded on, okay? I don't know why they do this, but they, they have it, and it is what it is. Now, the drip tip... You could use the wide bore, wide mouth, drip tap, drip tip like this. They, of course, call it a chuff style tip. I don't believe there's a chuff style tip because back in the day when chuff was making tips, they never looked like this. So it's not a chuff style. It's just a wide bore uh, mouth to lung tip. Now you could use this like this, but I advise you don't. Um, they do include this wide bore drip tip as well, which fits into this cloud chasing tip, which, believe it or not, it works perfectly with this setup, just like this, unchanged, okay? Uh, obviously, you could put some e-liquid on these O-rings so that when you have this fit into your outer airflow control, it'll just make it easier to turn the airflow control to adjust the available airflow, okay? So, you know, you have that option of adjustment, so that's good to know. And it currently works only on dual coil mode. There's no single coil to this airflow. It's only dual coil. It's always going to be on dual coil. But you could always tighten up the amount of air that you want. If you want a very tiny slither of air opening for a tight draw, you can do that on here and get a great flavor chasing vape. Now, the deck itself, on the beneath part of the deck, you can see that the building deck itself has a plus sign over there. So, this way, you can tuck your cotton down into those four areas that are 
carved out into the deck basically they do this so you could you could drape your cotton down into your tank so you could have better wicking all right so what i wanted to show you guys is what build works best in this rda now currently i've got a 14 wrap 21 gauge wire okay which honestly is a nice wire it's stainless steel but and it's three millimeter it's a big wrap and everything but does this style wrap work well in this type of building deck and for the style of vaping you're going to get for flavor no okay this is how i normally build on a series tube mod or stacked av mod or even uh some just you know other types of mechanical tube mods and so forth but it doesn't work great with this design deck and this type of regulated device, okay? And the reason why I say that is because flavor is there, but not to its maximum, okay? I like to have the maximum flavor and the maximum clouds, okay? And in this scenario, this type of build doesn't quite work. Now, this is my black and stainless version and this actually has a coil already installed on here with the cotton draping down into the RDTA box itself. Uh, I'm going to do a quick build video on here, very, very quick. Uh, but for this style of vaping right here, for this type of coil, uh, I believe it's in your best interest to use an ohm at 0.33 and above. Uh, this way you're not using a huge amount of wattage, but it is using a good amount of voltage. And when you fire it, it just vapes nicely. Flavor is incredible on this device. Flavor is absolute on here. And vape production is massive, okay? This device works great with alien claptons or fused claptons, any type of fused or well-built coil. If you're gonna use like coils that are just single wire, uh, I call them the Ruby Roo coils, you know, single single wire, 24 gauge, wrapped like eight times, you know, you could do those type of coils on here. The flavor won't be as great. Uh, the cloud production will be there, but the flavor won't. These type of coils are the way to go. If you don't know how to build these coils, that's fine. There are hundreds and thousands of people making coils today, and there's a lot of great coil builds, builders out there. These I got from a shop called Breathe Easy Vapes, a guy by the name of Corey, uh, he goes by the Texas Coiler on Instagram, made me these stackable Claptons at 3 millimeter diameter, which ohm out to a 0.25 and above, okay? Now, when he gives you coils, He'll give you the coils, and it comes with cotton. Here's another set of coils he sent me. He sent me competition framed stapled aliens that ohm out at 0.08 to 0.10, and they're three millimeter in diameter. Very nice coils, very well built, very well machined. He did a great job on these, and the cotton that he includes with it is also very nice wicking cotton. Works very, very well. So basically, if you pick up a iJoy RDTA limitless combo type of deal, basically, you know, you can get the building deck. This one has a postless building deck. Obviously, you could do a nice dual coil on here and send your cotton on two sides of the building deck itself, okay? So you could put two really nice coils in there and drape your cotton down into this hole. Or you could do a really nice single coil design with a big beefy coil. You could do a huge coil on here and just drape your cotton in on both sides as well. Um, you know, these are removable, these decks, which is not a problem. You just have to take apart this RDTA. You have to loosen up your screw in the bottom, separate the top from the bottom, and so forth and so forth. It's all adjustable, basically. There you have it. You remove your post, your postless deck from here. You could also try by unscrewing the post. I didn't unscrew the positive pin, 
but you can unscrew the positive pin from this device to make life easier. Um, I didn't, I just basically unscrewed it from the top, but you can see where your positive is. It is surrounded by height temp Delrin, which goes across the center, which this is our positive, and on the outsides is our negative, basically. All you have to do is just thread this on here. You can take the coils that are supplied in your RDTA box. Now, anytime you're doing a build, it's always important to remove your batteries. So let's just do that now. This way I don't get any shocks or short circuits or anything like that. Just take these batteries out just to be a little safe and precautious. So basically when you're installing your coils, you gotta remember you have your positive in a center. So from one hole to the next, you have your positive in a center, your negative on the outside. Remember, you know, building coils 101, positive, negative, positive, negative, okay? Now when you put your coil build in here, you have to remember that your cotton is going to this channel here and this channel here. So you have two channels, you got one here and one here. So your cotton has to drape down into that channel. So you're just gonna remember, you have your, <coughs> your negative here, your positive in the center. So when you put your coils in, they have to be facing the direction of the juice channels. That's where they gotta be leading to. So this coil setup is going for, uh, currently we're at 0 0.20 ohms. I'm pulsing it at 97 watts. I do small little pulses. Push and hold at 97 watts. And I try to get them to glow evenly. And I got one side glowing hotter than the other. And it simply is because the coil legs, maybe they're a little loose. So I just go in there and just play with the coil legs a little bit. You know, get the coils as close as I can. Looks like these wires are made with stainless steel. Because they're getting a nice bluish color to them. and they're glowing evenly. So take a battery out, pop your cotton in, just make sure your coils are not hot. I should let my coils cool off before I burn my cotton, basically. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of smoke coming up from that. You can see my cotton is expanding from the heat. You see it expanding right there, you see it expanding. Pass the cotton through. Now you gotta remember your building deck is higher up. So you gotta get your cotton to sit down into this tank. So you need to have a good amount of length. So once you pass your cotton through, fray it out a little bit because you're gonna have it wicking. So fray it up and stick it down in there. Remember to keep it in that little channel on the building deck itself and have it drop down inside. Okay, fray out the cotton. pack it. Okay, once you got your cotton down in there, you, it's nice and wicked. You'll have nothing to worry about. You'll experience very, very, very good vaping. You'll have a great vaping experience if your cotton is wicked correctly into your tanks. Okay, go in reverse first. Make sure you're sitting properly. Then go forward and you will see that this cap will sit in the groove 
that's on the box itself. We have ourselves a perfectly wicked deck and a perfectly built Clapton. Now these are the coils that came with the tank itself. So these should work great with this device. Okay, put your other battery in at this point. I still wouldn't have it sitting on, so just shut it off if you can. So one, two, three, four, five. Power it off. This way you don't fire it and get the cotton burnt. You don't want to burn the cotton. So I'm grabbing this juice right here, Mania by ADD. It's released by Vape Models and Ronin. It's like a cinnamon sugar cookie e-liquid. It's fucking incredible. It's a 70 VG, 30 PG, so it's going to wick really well into this tank. Increase my wattage. I'm going to go up to about 120 watts. And we're vaping nicely. That's the Cory build on the black and stainless steel. That's the Texas Coiler build. This is the 0.33 ohms. Sometimes it switches up the homage. I'm currently at 0.34 ohms. Um, the way he made them at 0.25 and above the coils, I added an extra wrap to his coil on this device. Okay, so in the video, you you know, I've shown you the single wire stainless steel wrap 14 times, and then I show you this build. Well, this build is Corey's build from Breathe Easy Vapes. Okay, and this build vapes amazingly okay now the build that comes in this one this is the one that came with the device this is the fused claptons that came from china and this works also very well as well okay hit that button it vapes nicely if the response time in hitting the button is not to your liking you could put it to a harder setting or you can go into user settings and uh, you could fire it up, let's say the preheat, you could have it set at 200 watts the second you hit the button and have it dumbed down to 130 watts. This way, you can get the coil to ramp up quick at 200 watts as soon as you hit that button and then bring it down to a lesser wattage, basically. Okay, so I set this to user mode and I just want to show you how it fires. I got it firing at 180 watts to prep the wick on firing it at a higher wattage and then it goes down to about 132 watts and you can see how fast this happens basically so take a look so we go from 180 to 132 to 120 and 120 and i'm fine with that because it literally ramps up at 180 watts and then it hits when I'm inhaling at 132, and then as it starts to die down, it goes to 120 watts. So 180, 132, 120, 120. And it's just long enough for the type of drag that I do, which is anywhere between two to four seconds of a drag. So to me, I'm happy with what I get, basically. It's a nice little almost like a pulse width modulation where you could spike the wattage, drop it down, spike it, drop it, spike it, drop it. You could program it however, which way you want. If you want to do 180 watts, 120 watts, 180 watts, 120 watts, you could make it like a pulse width modulation basically. And that's a pretty interesting feature. I think that's really cool and it's really user friendly to do it. Okay. If you want to start off at a lower wattage and have it gradually get hotter and hotter and hotter, you can do that type of programming as well. It's very simple. It's not rocket science. It uses the fire button to enter it and the up and down buttons to change the amount of wattage basically, and then selecting the next stage. So after you enter it, it jumps over to the next stage. You can choose higher or lower wattage, enter it, 
go to the next stage, and then it'll show you exit, okay? So it's very, very simple how it operates, basically. Very easy, not confusing, not something that's written in gibberish or tiny little lines where you can't see any, anything. Everything is visual. Everything is there for you to see. They made it as easy as possible. Great menu system. Easy peasy. No problems at all. Okay, so just enjoy your vape. Now, if that's your sort of style of vaping, that as soon as you hit that button, you're at 200 watts, you can do that, all right? Uh, as far as me, you know, I'm okay with it because by the time I put it up to my mouth and I'm hitting the button, I'm all right. I'm not that much of in a rush to vape. Um, so the Breathe Easy Vapes from Corey, amazing, amazing build. If you live out in Texas or if you go online, you could pick up coils made by Corey or you could hit him up on Instagram. I put his address in this video on his... Uh, his Instagram, so you can hit him up on Instagram and see what you can do to get coils made by him because these are incredible coils and they work amazing in this fucking device. Whether you're using a postless, a velocity style, uh, a goon style, an Armageddon style, or whatever style RDAs that you can pick from to purchase, okay? it's It doesn't matter. It's the build that matters most. Um... You know, if you guys like to see a little diagram of all the RDAs that they basically have, I have a little sheet right here. So I'm going to show you real quick. So, you know, you have, let's say, all right, you can see there's IMC1, IMC2. I don't know, that's a velocity style right there. And it comes with uh, pre built space coils, or it's got this other one. Uh, the IMC4, you can see it's a two-post style with huge holes. Or you can go with, um, I guess that's kind of like a uh, J-Bow design, IMC5. Then IMC6 is kind of like a Twisted Messes design. Um, then they have these two postless decks. And then you have the pre-built one and another postless. And, you know, they got all these different style decks to choose from. Um, you know, you're okay with the, um, the one that comes with the iJoy tank setup, the, the limitless RDA, you're, you're okay with whatever, whatever building decks they put in there. It's fine. They work great. They have Phillips head screws. You can wrench them in. Just don't over wrench them where you're going to strip them. Um, but I really, really, really enjoy this device. Understand the coupon code is for a limited time. So it's going to go back up to $79.99, whatever the price is. Like I said, I didn't pay for this. This was sent to me. But if you want to take advantage of the coupon code, go down in the description, use my coupon code in there. You'll save $30, $40, whatever it is. And you're going to be vaping a device that I have so far used from Saturday and this video has been taking some time to make, so it actually extended into another day. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, that's a good amount of time for me to use nothing but this box. You know, and if I could use it for that long, and you're a, an, uh, an intermediate or a novice or whatever the case is, you could own this. You could have somebody put a build on it if you don't know how to do builds. If not... If you do know how to do builds, you're going to love this device. If you're a novice, you're going to love this device because you don't have to fill it up. You have 200 watts at your disposal. You hit a button. You're at a higher voltage. You know, you don't have to utilize 200 watts. You know, you could do a smart enough build like a 0.34 or 0.45 around there. Use a less amount of wattage, more amount of voltage, and it ramps up and the flavor is just insane. Okay? It's just a matter of whether or not you can handle a hot build. That's it. So I'm just going to take a couple more drags. I mean, the clouds are fucking dense. Super, super dense. Insane. And just listen. I mean, it's just like 4th of July. This is the teal. That's a 0 0.20. And this is the 0.34. 0.34 is angry as fuck. One's at 140. Now the 0.20 is at 140 watts. Okay. This is 140 watts I'm using. At 140 watts, it's vaping at 5.01 volts. Whereas the 
uh, Corey build in here is at 120 watts at 6.7 volts. That's a hot ass build and it's flavorful. Flavor is incredible. Do I approve this of, of this device? Yes, zero issues. So for me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it helped you make a choice whether or not you want to pick this up. I love this device. That's it. Nothing more to say. So for me to YouTube, peace out. I'm out. Latest.